<clears throat> Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the final episode of the Truck Championship mode for the Ford EcoBoost 200. 15 points separate the top four. I'm excited for this. Uh, Brett Moffat, who won the last race, is now the championship leader. Nine points ahead of us. Seward Friesen, six points ahead of us, is now in second. And now here we are all the way down here. We have a literal championship battle of the ages on our hands, and we are starting 14th. We're pulling out all the stops. Custom setup galore. I am not leaving anything to chance. We will win this championship. Mark my words, or chat will riot on me. They told me. They're lighting up chat right now. So, here we go. History is repeating itself. Let's go get it. No, Siri, not you. Uh, so yeah, chat, you didn't see anything. Not at all. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was just, uh, that was awful. I don't know what, I wasn't even, like, paying attention, honestly. That was definitely not, not what three. I was expecting. Ready? I know, I'm getting older, but sheesh. Alright, so let's try this again. And really, nothing's changing. Clear. We're gonna do the same thing that we did last time. Careful, still there. It actually is gonna be worse for us because we actually lost spots. <laughs> Good talk. Got one oh yeah, who put that wall there? I know we're supposed to do some wall checks, but not that early. Stay Dang. Here. Looking inside now. You gotta laugh at yourself every once in a while, you know? Still there. Oh yeah, there we go. This is what the top side's all about. This is what's gonna really come in handy later on through throughout the run. Don't want to slide the corner too much. And of course, Brett Moffat's in the lead. We have to stop him. Someone crash him, please. Whoa, Christian Eckes. I was planning on going to the inside of you, but you slowed up way too fast for me to react. Outside, outside. Try to close that gap before it, uh, before, uh, Christian Eckes could get to the outside, but he was still there. Alright, that's fine. Still there. Ooh, there we go. Nice move to the inside there. I love this track, but it's the only championship racetrack I've ever known. Well, we're about to ca start calling ISM that because, Careful, still uh, there. we're losing it, chat. Careful, still there. Ooh, we actually had to get on the brakes there. Interesting. Got one inside. Ooh, okay, 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 Christian Eckes. Middle three, middle three. Play it nice and cool. Run the middle. Dylan Lupton. Alright, we're fine, we're fine. Middle three. Get a decent runoff, too. Johnny Sarah gets a better one with uh, the top side. But yeah. Alright, so 11, 12 place. Okay, so not bad for initial start. I know exactly what I can do. I can lower the air pressure, uh, put more tape on, and definitely uh, loosen this thing up. It is a little bit tight. Just a wee bit, though. Atlanta was an awesome championship track. Oh, yeah. Now that's going back in the day. Way back when, when it was uh, an oval. How many laps can I go on green? Well, it looks like about 50, because we're on 44 right now and we're about to hit uh, 46. So, around about 50. Alright, do I start going up top here? Hmm, I think I do, honestly. Everyone's on bottom. I need to do something here. Matt Crafton is also doing exactly what he needs to do. He's up there in second right there, and but the thing is, oh, Brett Moff is just too good. He's been too good all all year. He is leading this race. All right, but we can't get it up yet. It's only lap seven. Did David give up when he fought Goliath? No. And I know we shouldn't either.
hit on uh, 45 lifts and uh, split into thirds. So two stop race is what you're saying. So pit twice. I just wonder how we are in the long runs, honestly. Because like my my practice was about 20 laps, so I know how I am throughout the midpoint, but not the long runs. Meaning, I don't know how everyone else reacts. That's what I was thinking. It says Griffins. Okay. Well, if you guys are telling me to do 45 laps... Still there. Might as well try it, you know? Because we gotta do something. And Brett Moffat has already moved up to the top. The 12-truck breakaway up here. Ooh. Stay on the bottom. Nice little choke up from Ben Rhodes. Uh, made Tyler Ankrum uh, check on up. Careful, Allows us to get to the inside. Breaks his momentum a little bit. How heartbroken uh, would it be if someone redeemed 75k with uh, five to go? I will be utterly devastated. But actually, okay, let me rephrase that. If Brett Moffitt's in the lead, and Stuart Friesen's, like, in second. I'm not going to be too hard for because I'm losing the championship anyway, you know? Still there. Still there. You know what I mean? But if I'm winning the race and Brett Moffitt is, like, out, then I will be utterly devastated. Still there. If I had it, I would be that guy. Then I'd be like, okay, Davey, you know what to do. Careful, still there. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Because, literally... I'm a, that's a channel point reward, and essentially I'll be punishing you for using what I put in there myself. Careful, still there. I don't think I had the heart to do it. Oh. What, to ban Griffins or... Uh... <laughs> still there. Or to actually put in 75k. Alright, so... We, okay, something's gotta change here with Tyler Oakham. Kind of get on the gas a little early. There we go. Kind of slide off in front. Okay, that's P10. All right. Tell you a history fact. Okay. Thank you, Nero, for uh, redeeming 2K. No, no, you would not be banned. Because literally, you're, you're using something that I put in there myself. I'm joking, my dude. So, okay, Nero, you redeemed a, uh, to tell you a history fact. Okay, so what do I have up my sleeve tonight? Well, what day is it? February 28th? I don't think the top's ready, quite ready yet. We do get a massive run, but Ben Rose decided to block us and not Tyler Ankrum. Why? Well, let's take a look here. Um... Hang on, give me one se one hot second. I'm, I'm still thinking about it. Stay on the bottom. You know what? I don't think anyone um, Clear all around. Uh, saw mine. Nero, you may know about this. It was Montenegro, right? That uh, was at war with Japan for over 100 years uh, during the Russo-Japanese War. And they literally just forgot to, uh, to sign a uh, treaty. So, technically, they were uh, at war for over 100 years, even though they technically weren't. Was that them? All right, so you knew that already. Okay. So, did you know? I know I'm kind of double-dipping here for anyone that was here, but I know Nero, he's also a fellow history lover, um, that during the Industrial Revolution, with the uh, level of uh, typhoid that was around, that houses would not be cleared out uh, from a typhoid outbreak for at least a couple months. So and they would they would uh, resell the house as quickly as possible to get it back on the market. So they so investors could cut their losses. I forgot to send a good morning text, and I'm still at war.
Okay, looks like everyone's moving up to the top now, so... I think, okay. So, does that mean, do I need to go up top, or do I just need to kind of hold out on bottom here? Stay low. Kind of run the middle, I guess. Still there. Ooh, a little bit tight. Okay, a little bit tight right there. Careful, still there. All clear. All right, P9. All right, P9. We're doing good. All four uh, championship hopefuls are within the top ten. We're we're trying, chat. We're trying. It's not even just the fact that I have to beat one guy, I have to beat two guys. And Stuart Friesen, honestly, was nowhere at the beginning part of the season. I was always ahead of him. He pulled out a stupendous late race uh, charge, late season charge in order to get up here. Now here he is, second in points. And Brett Mavic, who literally has been winning this championship since easily like race three here we are homestead miami and we're we're doing our best we're doing our best chat definitely gonna need a little bit of lady luck on our side Hit that wall. There we go. Show it who's boss. Now, see, that's the appropriate time to hit the wall there. Because what we're doing is we were just testing just to make sure that the game physics are not broken on us. You know, obviously. Don't you guys do that every now and then? Because I do. It's never in the corners. It's always just on the straights. All right, so Chad, you guys are telling me to pit every 45 laps, correct? Just nice, clean 45, 45, 45? Or really 45, 45, 50, right? Is, it, is that the strat? Because we have 28 laps in the tank right now. So 50 is still up in the up in the cards. That was weird. It, we felt like we got loose in that corner, like just coming off. Ooh, there we go. Get that side draft. Come on, Christian. Yeah, short pit first time. Okay, can do. You know what? We do have to pull off some fancy flying, so... You know what? I'm down for anything. So, 45, 45, and then good to go. Or, let's just worry, let's just worry about the strats uh, as we get to the second time. So, 45 first, so we have 20 laps into our first pit. Gotcha. So P8, chat, we're moving forward. Little by little. So, like I said, I know I can put more tape on. I can definitely do a lot more with the uh, truck, lower some air pressures, make this thing better in the long run and uh definitely loosen up a little bit not a whole lot but just enough
Oh, okay. So, chat. I'm since I obviously didn't do it during ISM. Here is my first question of the day. I'm gonna do this uh, twice, so two questions a day for you. So let me know if you actually want to hear it, first of all. And second, it doesn't matter because I'm gonna say it anyway. First question of the day. What can be your favorite track if they eliminate stages? So, like, what track do you hate now that you think will be better without stage racing? Me? Oh, no, I don't... Okay, I shouldn't... Okay. I don't hate the track now, but I think it will be better without stages. Eldora. Let that thing go straight through, my dude. No need to stage it. No need for stages here. Yeah, let me know what let me know what your track is that you think will be so much better without stages. That's the first question of the day. Another one that I have, I think Eldora would be awesome if they had heats and mains. I mean, I they kind of have that with the qualifying, but I know exactly what you're talking about. Like, I get what they're trying to do with the, uh, with the qualifying races, but, like, that's not how you do it, my guy, you know? There's Travis. There's Travis Cavapple right there. Crabapple. Or Darlington. Darlington without stages would be fun. Uh, Jumper Joe Cobb. That was my opportunity to get uh, Sewer Freezing right there. But all school uh, PHX, okay. Any, um, I think road courses as well. Because I feel like the uh, whole pit for to gain advantage is kind of redundant, you know? Because that's the whole thing of road courses, is strategy and getting what uh, lap you should actually pit on. So I think any road course, honestly. I had to do an audible right there and go to the outside. Without stages, I think Auto Club or Vegas. Hmm, interesting. Never would have thought Auto Club, honestly. I was in the minority, but I like Phoenix better than ISM. Well, I mean, well, it's back to Phoenix now because ISM dropped their uh, sponsorship of it. So yeah, we'll be back to calling it Phoenix. But honestly, I never left calling it Phoenix. I've always called it, uh, always called it that. Honestly, I wouldn't mind a, um, uh, another short track without stages as well, you know? Oh yeah, I know. Before the uh, before the reconfiguration, I get you. All right, chat. Ten more laps until uh, until our first stop. On your line. Stay high. All right. Because we are going to take a uh, bit of a different approach. We're going to short pit this time. We gotta give ourselves every opportunity possible. Yeah. 
Yo, Devin, how are you doing today, my guy? I think Bristle would be fun. Oh, yeah, definitely Bristle. Every short track, honestly, I think would be fun. Maybe not Richmond, because with the current package at Richmond, ugh. Uh, Art Club would be awesome with the uh, 20, uh, 2013 with uh, Denny, uh, with Denny um, Logano and uh, Joey. Oh my God! With Denny, Joey, and Kyle. Yeah, you're right. You got room. But at the same time, we can kind of have that now. I think in terms of like overall racing, I think almost stages would just be better off without, you know, on, just, on certain tracks. I feel like it should be like a exclusive for a certain type, like mile and a half, honestly. Anything above that should not, so like road courses, because that leads to whole strategies in and of itself. But mile and a half with this current package, I feel like you need that. Road courses don't, short tracks don't, you know? Twelve seconds on Brett Moffitt. Two twelve seconds from. Powers called the caution. Oh well, there goes uh first stop right there. So no short pitting here, honestly. Only twenty trucks on the lead lap. I can't wait to see Chase Elliott try to beat Kyle Bush in the trucks for the Kevin Harvick challenge. I can't wait to see what Kyle Larson has to do. Um, I also said this as well that uh, Stuart Friesen also did a uh, uh, Stuart, Stuart Friesen's uh, team did a challenge that um, basically said that uh, if any truck regular would uh, do that, that they also will win 50k. So yeah, I think that's going to be pretty cool. So we gained two spots? Oh, we gained one spot. Okay. I think Darlington is the only intermediate check that doesn't need stages. I can see that. I think it'd be cool, honestly. Careful, still there. Get to the outside here. We have all the championship contenders. We have first, fourth, and then fighting for fifth. But Johnny Sar is going to get in the way. We have to, we have to check up. Still there. Inside. A little bit loose as we were free floating through there. Clear. Can I dive to the middle? Line. Hold your line. Okay, we're we're really loose. Okay. Clear low. Ooh, oh man, yeah, we are a little on the little on the looser side. We may have to kind of meet the difference here. But it's three wide. Okay, we're good. Keep it up. That was and for New Hampshire better. stages. All right, clear low. Stages are of uh, no consequence. Still there. Oh yeah. Well, New Hampshire sucks anyway. I just think that th that entire place uh, should uh, lose its cup date, but that's just me, honestly. Careful, still there. What's up, Camden? How are you doing today? Welcome to the stream, man. Inside. We have 90 laps to go of the last race of the season. We are fighting Brett Moffin and Stuart Friesen, who are literally first and third right now. Uh, well, and I guess Matt Crafton too, but he's he's here and trying to be part of this championship battle. He's currently 15 points back in fourth place, but he needs myself, Stuart Friesen, and Brett Moffin all to have bad days and with him to basically win. How do you get the la uh, lap side thing in your chat? You just need to just watch, my dude, and it'll uh, 
you'll gain some uh, eventually. What is the worst track ever in your opinion? New Hampshire. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. My the worst track ever. And by the way, Camden, thank you so much for the follow, my dude. Welcome to the Groovy Crew. Thanks for stopping on out and being a very cool dude. Still there. So, um, the worst track ever. Even if it was repaved, I doubt North Wilkesboro will, uh, or Rockham would be any good. I don't know about that. I think North Wilkesboro, just because of, uh, the historical charm to it, you know? Um, let's see here. I think the worst track ever on the schedule, literally the one that I literally do not care for at all, besides New Hampshire, like, unironically, Halo, Halo. probably has to be... I don't see the need for two Kansas races, nor two Richmond races. Now... Not with this uh, package, honestly. Am I on PS4? Yes, I am on PS4, my guy. Alright, P5. Here we go. My two championship contenders are first and second right now. I need to get up there. Matt Crafton is looking strong, though. Alright, you're clear. Like he gets on the throttle a lot faster than I do. Want to race uh, tomorrow morning? Oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm going to be sleeping in tomorrow. I have a very tight racing schedule. Not tight racing schedule. Very tight schedule that uh, I have. And literally Saturday mornings are my uh, sleep in day. I appreciate the offer, though, my dude. Maybe next time I do an open, uh, an open lobby. Honestly, Still there. we're coming up on, uh, we're coming up on our next, uh, Bauer Bowl of 275. There we go. Oh, yeah, you're right, Texas. Oh, my God, Texas sucks. Yeah, how did I forget about Texas? God, man. Ooh, okay. Ooh, wow, so loose. Okay. Yeah, we definitely have to, uh kind of me in the middle because it looks like we were a little too tight in that first run and now we're a little bit too loose on this run so we got me in the middle uh when will i be up uh we'll be on tomorrow it'll be uh, tomorrow night so right around 10 o'clock or so still there that'll be the xfinity championship mode and i do believe we are at watkins Platt. no Chicago land. We're at Chicago land. Careful, still there. All right, you're clear. So, Chad, we need to talk about this. If Stuart Friesen wins, and Brett Moffat comes in second, Stuart Friesen wins the title because the extra points that you get for first is five, and he's down by four. Literally, Stuart Friesen is now the championship leader. Atlanta Auto Club has some good racing, but lost their second dates. Well, yeah. Honestly, I think Auto Club should come back to being a night race. But that's just me, though. I think uh, it being a night race was awesome. Atlanta, too. Honestly, I, they should turn their dates into night races. But, you know, that's just me. I feel like, especially with this package, the um, the uh, the cars thrive on a uh, a very nighttime oriented track. So having more night dates would be better. Like look at Kansas and Kentucky last year. All ducks. I'm heading uh, to the race this Sunday. Dang man. Send us pictures. Tweet me. Home says should keep their race as a twilight race. Oh yeah, without a doubt. Now, if 
if someone could be so kind, uh, can you look at the uh, 2020 schedule and see if um, if the Homestead race is a night race or if it's not? It would say if it was. I can't remember. I want to say it's a night race, but I could be mistaken. Because it, it will say if it is a night race or not. I want to say it is, but I'm not entirely sure. So, Brett Mop is back in the lead now. Just got around Stuart Friesen. It's a 1 p.m. start. Oh, well, I guess it's not. Never mind. Well, that sucks. Homestead during the day sucks. There's literally no point to that. All right, so chat, what is the new what is the new strat since the caution came out in order to uh, stop us from short fitting? What is the new strat? We have 34 laps left in the tank, and it's currently lap 57. Currently, the two rivals that I have are first and second. So yes, I'm having a great race. They're having better ones though. thinking, well, it'll be 33 more laps, which is going to be, what, lap 88? 88. Uh, I'll still have to pit an extra time if that's the case. Hmm. Chad, I need your help. I need your help in order to help me win a championship. What is the proper call? Do I wait until... Wait until um, my gas tank runs dry, or do I short pit? Because by my count... No, actually... Nope. I, I lied. No, there is only one way. I pit at lap 90 because that will open up the window for me to go the rest of the way. Lap 90. Tyler Rankin uh, is starting to come alive, so we gotta watch out for him. I hope they pit, stay out, hope for a caution. Yeah, you right, O-Ducks. I mean, honestly, that would be, like, the surefire way I do win. But I highly doubt that's going to happen. Because, weirdly enough, and this is one thing I love about Heat 4's AI, is that they're actually smart. Well, smarter than Heat 3, I'll say that. Yeah, I definitely need to tighten on up. Need to meet in the middle. Probably go up like two ticks in order to tighten up this truck a little bit. Yeah, if I pit at lap 90, that opens the door perfectly for the rest of the way. Whoa. Okay, yeah. Very, very loose. Guess I'm taking the high side here. I just looked at the time. 1236. Still there. Gotta hit the hay? Oh well. Don't worry about it, man. I gotta be up in five hours. Well, yeah, definitely, man. You need to get some sleep. Have a good rest of the night, my dude. Thank you so much for coming on out. <laughs> there we go, lurk. 
Well, I'll tell you what. I'm planning on getting all these races off by tomorrow. Uh, I'm, well, I'm going to try at least. So hopefully I can actually... Uh, you'll be able to catch uh, the ending and what happens. <laughs> Work mode. Yo, Du Bois, thank you so much for the follow, my dude. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully I'm providing a good race for you to watch. Thank you, man. So, okay, we have Tyler Ankrum right here looking pretty sporty. We have Ross Chastain right behind him. Now, wait, is that Ross or is that Kyle Benjamin? Okay, that is Ross. I just was just making sure. We now, because of that, we have a bit of an opening here in 25 laps. Ooh, that's going to be right on the dot. Right on the dot of making it. And one more stop. Okay, we gotta we gotta pull out all the stops and go the rest of the way. Because we do not want to make an extra stop here. So yeah, we're gonna go until this gas tank is dry. And that's the that's our strat. Alright, but what can we do to make this truck better? Because we're fifth, but literally all of our championship rivals are the other three trucks. Got a combo now. We need to do something here. Something Hello. needs to go right. We, I said from the get-go, we need a little bit of Lady Luck on our side. So far, she's on Brent Moffat's side. Careful, still there. Trying to. Careful, still there. Oh yeah, that didn't. Okay, that didn't work. I tried to kind of dime in the corner a little bit. That's the halfway mark. By entering high, covering down low, and then getting back up high, but I guess it didn't quite work out. Not a big deal. You know, we do have a little bit of uh, time to play with, and we also have a little bit of positions, but not a whole lot though. Like, we're going to need to make them down to a late race restart, honestly. We're still hitting some good times, though. Johnny Sarr is just getting absolutely destroyed by Corbin Forrester right here. Outside, outside. Clear high, oh, I see a gap. There we go. That's how we... That's how... Clear high, oh, boy. Travis Quapple was trying to turn down, and I was trying to turn back up. Because I was going to take the high side here. Didn't quite work. All right. Whew. I'll tell you what, chat. That makes your heart rate spike. I know Jimmy Johnson has a uh, heart rate monitor in his car now to have that little extra camera shot for Fox Sports. If I had a heart rate monitor right there, that would be skyrocketing right there. I thought my race was over. Still there. Oh, I was taking that bottom side there, Jennifer. All right, you're clear. No, ma'am, you're not taking that from me. Looks like Brem Moffat made it through uh, lap track just fine. Where is Johnny Sauter? Where did he go? He is still behind Corbin Forrester. Poor dude. He is absolutely being destroyed here. Oh, you hate to see it. You hate it for his guys. So, Chad, as we are fast yeah, approaching... Now. As we are fast approaching the end of the season for the truck championship mode... Who is your pick for Auto Club? We've seen the practice, sheet, uh, practice sheets. Uh, currently, my pick is on Bowman. Bowman, I feel like, is going to have a very good race. He is literally the leader in, like, 5 lap, 10 lap, and 15 lap. I feel like uh, he may be missing one. Ryan Blaney is picking up the slack there. But he's still very, very fast. He's got my money. Who's your money on chat? Careful, 
Gilbert. I tried to do a slide job there. It didn't quite work. Ross is there and filled the hole too quickly. Stay low, stay low. Uh, three and four is just not working at all. Stay on the bottom here. Ooh, there we go. Use Parker Clickerman as a pick. Perfect. Literally calculated. Oh my god, that felt good. All right, so here in about another 15 or so laps, we'll be good. We'll be good to pit on lap 90. Bottom looks good. Just follow Tyler Ankrum all the way through. Just a little extra off throttle time, you know, just as you do. Got one inside. Ooh, okay, Ross. Okay, Ross. Ooh, dang. Clear high, bud. Oh, wow. He is wanting that spot. Calm down, my guy. Oof. Wow. So... 75 laps are in the books. We have a lot to race for. Tyler I'm getting held up by Jordan Harrison. Ooh, okay, yeah, I'm just going to go with uh, Tyler here. But we get really, really loose going into uh, turn three. Yeah, I can't wait for a pit stop. My tires are starting to get the better of me here. And... Um, well, I guess that was just it. <laughs> Good talk, Private Fad. Yeah, my tires are just really getting worn. I don't have the grip like I did. Need to tighten it up again just a little bit. Kind of get the best of both worlds. Do a tire pressure adjustment. That was the only thing I didn't do on the first stop. Will just do a tire pressure adjustment? I feel like I definitely need it. So, yeah. Sixth place is not that bad, though. Definitely nothing bad to write home about. Except for the fact that Brent Moffitt has a gap of seven and a half seconds to you. When he's already leading the points. Share the love, man. Ugh, oh, mama mia, chat. Chat, chat, chat. What am I going to do with you? Stay on the bottom here. Ooh, Joe Nemechek, okay. 21st right there. He was a lucky dog, and he's now put down a lap one more time. All the way to the wall. I have no idea where uh, Brett Moffitt uh, has lapped up to right now. Has to be pretty dang close to uh, to the top 15 at this point. I know we're running pretty identical times, so... Alright, so we have 10 more laps until our next stop. Now, will this be a green flag stop or a caution? kind of throw a wrench into the, all of this. Because if a caution comes out, there's no guarantee that we can make it the rest of the way. That's going to be interesting. Yo, Du Bois, if Bowman's uh, your money pick, what do you think the uh, would be the underdog? Well, I saw that Christopher Bell and uh, Tyler Reddick were all up there as well. I feel like those would be my uh, underdog picks. Because so far, the rookies have not really had that much speed so I feel like having a uh, rookie as my one of my underdog picks would uh, make sense they have raw pace but I think I think that would be who I would pick as my uh, 
underdog or my dark horse. Okay, so eight more laps until uh, next pit stop. Eight and a half seconds uh, to Brett Maupin now. Good talk. Uh, and I honestly don't even know if a caution would come out now. Would we be able to make it? Would we not? I want to see Matt DiBenedetto. Oh, I think we all want to see Matt DiBenedetto. Well, he was dang close to doing it in uh, Vegas. Second place, he just got held up too much by Ricky Stenhouse. But who knows if, uh, I think Matty D definitely has the potential to do it. I saw that he was up there in timesheets. So who knows? Well, I just saw Spencer Boy just uh, blow an engine, so there is no caution for that. So, uh, Chad, I don't know if we're going to get this caution before we have to stop here. No guarantee on that. But I want to give up hope. Because I feel like the surefire way of me winning this championship is literally I have a caution come out at literally the perfect time. And, well, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not, I'm not about to create one. If it happens, it happens. There. Let the racing gods and play their dice up ahead Careful, and roll how they may. All right, clear low. my tire wear looking like? Oh, 20%? Ugh. That's an oof right there. But yeah, dude boys, welcome to the stream, my dude. Thank you so much for the follow again, my guy. Hopefully you're enjoying the race. Alright, so good news is we have two and a basically quarter seconds to uh, Johnny Sauter. Perfect. Bueno. You love to see it. As a private patent fan, you love it for your guys. However, we definitely need to actually kick it up a notch. We need to kick it up into high gear here. Get past Kyle Benjamin quick, fast, and in a hurry. Three more laps. Like I said, make it to lap 90. That's all we gotta do. Actually, even la like next lap would be uh, a okay with me. I mean, optimally though, I want it to be on lap 90 just for that clear cutness, you know. And I think pitting that extra lap will definitely be more beneficial. You're low on fuel, bud. All right, there's the fuel tank. So who's gonna be pitting this lap? It's not gonna be Moffat. Matt Crafton, maybe? You're gonna take the risk of pitting one lap early? No, no one's pitting this early. All right, so I guess next time, bye. Next time, next time. And honestly, that's just from tire wear at this point. It's not, and there's no other reason for it. All right, everyone's pitting this time. Brett Moffitt, Sewer Friesen, everyone. Perfect. 
we dug as far as we could there. All right, so this should be it for us. Um, yeah, just up, just a couple ticks. Um, bring it right there and right here. Jet, let the chips fall where they may. Quick, quick water break, man. I'm thirsty. All right, so what do we got here? You're clear on pit road. Ooh, okay, you know what, Johnny? You got that. Go ahead, man. I'm not about to cause a caution for that. Because I, when I know I'm faster than you. Uh, coming off pit road. Stay high. Stay high. All right, He's the one that clear. wants to race me off pit road. Okay, I see. Got a car low now. Oh, never mind. Okay, I guess he's fast. Stay high up here. Look at him go. Still there. Still there. All right, so lap 92. We are good to go here the rest of the way. Now, if a late race caution were to come out, it's going to be our job to get up to the front. I feel like if a late race caution were to happen, we can actually win this race. But will that caution ever happen? Who knows? All right, but Chad, this is the last stint of the truck championship mode season. And the last one for the truck championship mode, just in period, on, on NASCAR Heat 4. Keep it up. That was your best lap ever. Ooh, best lap ever. I, I'm, I really am hoping for a caution. Hoping, praying. Hoping and a praying. <sighs> okay. Um... What can we talk about here? I mean, with how this race is turning out, who... I know there's still an opportunity for us to win this championship here, but I think I have to prepare myself for the possibility that, hey, you know what, I guess it just wasn't my season, you know? We had this in Heat, in heat 3 by a long shot, but I guess not with uh, Heat 4, so... When all these modes finish, uh, what are you going to do? Re-up? Nah. I do one championship mode for each series per game. And that essentially that is my yearly quote-unquote season. You know? So I just kind of... Um, I just stick with uh, career mode after. Because essentially... The whole idea is for me to not mess up, and I don't have a re-up, you know? You don't have a second shot in real life. You have to wait until the next uh, season. You have to, so for me, you have to wait until the next game. You know? It, this wasn't my year for the truck championship mode, you know? It wasn't my game. But we still have the Xfinity and the Cup side of things to look forward to. And I know we can pull out some uh, good finishes in the Xfinity. Because especially when we're going to the uh, the road course section of the, se of the season. So, yes, the trucks may have 
been a fluke or a failure, whatever you want to call them, uh, we still have more racing to do. Not to mention, after everything's all said and done, we have all of our custom series. So yeah, we have plenty of racing to happen. This is just a drop in the bucket compared to uh, everything that we have planned. Yes, it sucks that there is a distinct possibility that I'm going to lose this championship, but I had a blast. I legitimately had a lot of fun doing this. I felt like I had the most realistic settings and the most realistic kind of finishes. We were solid, like almost always within the top 10, but we weren't winning. You know? All clear. This truck feels so much better. Like, it's not plowing, it's not too loose. We're a little loose on corner exit, but... Not the worst. The series are awesome regardless of the final standing. Oh, well, I mean, considering that we got my closest ever finish with a .001, Oh my god. That was the and that was the first one of the season right there at Canadian Tire. That was a definite highlight of the season. Not to mention how close this entire thing was. Literally just going non-stop 20 races. This is old style Winston Cup racing here. You know? Something that kind of got lost in the whole playoff shuffle. But this was old school, you know? Here we are going back in time to the ripe old year of 1992 where there was five trucks that mathematically could win the championship. But at the end of the day, someone has to hoist a trophy and I don't think it's gonna be me. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We have 32 laps left to go. Who knows, a caution could come out and hey, you know what, that could just be our ticket home. I mean, well, that being said, yes, I have to win, and Brett Moffat has to finish nine places behind me, but there is still a possibility. I was consistent the entire season, but literally I was going up against better. I was good, they were better. Still there. And that's weird for the AI, wow. The AI is never better. If Brett Moffat wins this race, this is his fifth win. What an yeah, absolute legend. All clear. Okay, officially 30 laps to go. I'm not giving up hope. Not until lap 134. We're gonna go up high here. Still there. Take the middle, see what happens. Careful, still there. Loosen up the steering a little bit, get that good run off four. You're all clear on the bottom. There we go. So, yeah, we're in seventh right now. Dang, group messages going off. Oh, uh, chat, chat, I'm sorry for those uh, black bars right there. The ones that you're seeing are group messages. I apologize for that. Call me Mr. Popular, I know, right? Ah, oh, shucks. Everyone just wants to talk to me.
All right. Um. All right, chat. Here's my next question of the day. So, we had a question over who's your pick for Cup, okay? And I said Alex Bowman, and uh, we had a follow-up question of who's your Dark Horse. Well, I don't want to just skip all the way to um, to the playoffs, but who do you, is your Dark Horse for winning this season? Touch the wall there. You gotta assert dominance. Show the wall who's boss. Careful, still there. Byron. Careful, still oh, there. I oh I definitely agree with that, Du Bois. Very good pick. One hundred percent agree. Can't agree more, actually. Definitely. Having Byron as a uh, as a dark horse for the playoffs. I mean, he's shown speed both in Daytona with his uh, with his uh, dual race as well as in uh, Vegas. He has speed, but he just needs some finishes. Honestly, he's honestly kind of like a glass cannon. When he wins, he's gonna win in spectacular fashion. I can just see it right now. And getting that 24 Careful, back in there. victory lane is mwah, gonna be bueno. All clear. Personally, you want Hamlin? Well, oh, but Hamlin's not a dark horse. He's already, he's already a uh, top contender. Oh, ducks! I would love to see the 24 in victory lane, let alone a champ. Oh my God! Can you imagine the storylines? Because if you think about it, Chase was not able to win in the 24. If Byron does it. He's going to be the, well, not only is he going to do something that Chase will never do again, but literally he will get the 24 back in victory lane since Jeff Gordon did. Okay, yeah, but overall, I like Cameron. Oh, well, don't don't say that around uh, the rest of chat. Chat's a pretty hefty uh, Hamlin hater. <laughs> like, I personally don't care. But I'm just saying. Still there. Still there. Whoa, hello. All How clear. awesome would it be for Jeff Gordon to be the broadcaster calling a Byron a Byron? Oh my god. That that would be a storybook right there. And then I can see him rushing down and interviewing him, you know? Because, you know, you have original 24 with the new, the new face. All clear. That would be storybook, though. Oh, Ducks, you're right. All right, 20 to go this time by chat. I'm hoping and praying for a caution. We're good to go on fuel should a caution not come out. But essentially what we're doing is we're looking for a caution because we will be a bullet. And if the cards fall the way they will, there is a distinct possibility that we might be able to win the race. Now, will that be the championship? I don't know. We won't know until the last lap and how the running order finishes on out. Because like I said, Still there. if we win the race, well, because I was doing the math. If we win the race, Brad Moffat has to finish fourth or better. If we win the race, Stuart Friesen has to finish second. In order to 
still be ahead of me. So, we'll see. 18 laps left to go. I'm not giving up hope. We have had we have not had a caution for a long time. Not only that, but as we get later and later into this run, we we have to throw a Hail Mary at some point. But yeah, having Jeff Gordon call a Byron win would be awesome. And I, I seriously do wonder who's going to take the 48 uh, spot. Like, I wish I had my crystal ball and would be able to see. Yeah, you can't see me right now, but like, I'm like moving my hands in a way that I'm uh, like going around a crystal ball and be like, okay, well, Brad Kozlowski is going to get confirmed for the 48 or something like that, you know? I want to know who's going to be in that Chevy. Hope Johnson wins at least one more. Same. Like, literally, that would be... That would be absolutely amazing. Johnson win one more, just like Gordon did in his last season. I mean, it doesn't even have to be for the playoffs or anything like that. Just literally just get a win. And there you go. actually kind of worried about um, the Toyotas and I know this is a long season and now I know there's going to be race three but boy howdy Kyle Busch has been nowhere it's so weird not seeing him in uh, the top tier of the standings have a uh, he's down at 27th in points right now that is absolutely weird to be thinking about that Kyle Busch is that low in the standings and after race two he just had nothing go for him. Want to see the lowest paint scheme one more time? I hope they do. Like for the final race at ISM or whatever, have uh, Lowe's come back just one more time. Give him the proper retirement race that he deserves, you know? Because seven-time, you know, yes, he hasn't had the best of years, but, like, he is the GOAT. The best, the in my opinion, the best driver to ever grace NASCAR. Still there. All clear. I am out. So we have 12 to go, chat. This race is coming fast to a close, and here we are down here in seventh. We have Tyler Ankrum, who's literally just been, honestly, just right in front of us the entire time. It seems like we aren't even gaining on him, because we're, like, running around the same speed. Now, Brett Moffat, though, is absolutely demolishing us. 17 seconds. Almost a decade of championships earns the right to the throne. Exactly. Well, I mean, he's not going to be, he's not King Richard Petty, you know? He's not 200 wins and seven championships, you know? But he is, he is a go, you know? All right, we to go. In fact, <laughs> I just remember, um, like, hearing about his old Xfinity tales and how of an Xfinity dropout he was going to be. And then all of a sudden he goes to Cup and wins. 
seven championships. 80 plus races. You know? Can't wait for him to get on the uh, Hall of Fame ballot. Still there. Careful, still there. All clear. All right, well, there's P6. Looking inside now. Clear low, bud. Really loose off that corner. I was uh, really pulling hard on the wheel. Careful, still there. Well, oh, leave a lane. Careful, still there. Coming through. Clear down low. All clear. Wouldn't Jeff had won uh, two or three more championships under the old system? Um, he would... Okay, so if you watch... Um, if you watch, like, the old... Uh, like, if uh, we still use the old-style points, he would have won, like, two more. It would have been 07 and... 04, was it? No, not 04. I mean, maybe it was 04. Was it 04 or 05? But definitely it was 07. Oh! 2014, maybe? I, I think so. It was definitely 07 for sure. I know that. But yeah, he would have. That, that would have been a legitimate thing. Five to go, Chad. Five to go. Five to go. And honestly, at this point, even if a caution comes out, I don't think I even have enough time in order to uh, go back up to the front. I think uh, the opportunity for all this, for this caution to come out, has come and gone. We tried. We honestly tried. We gave it all we could this entire season. We were good. We were solid. I, if I, when I, well, not if, when I crunch the numbers and find out the grand total of uh, average ranking position, I can almost guarantee I'm in the top 10. But ultimately, while we were good, Fred Moffitt, and Stuart Friesen was better because here we are. They're coming around for two to go. The opportunity for a caution is fast depleting. Brad Moffat just needs two more perfect laps in order to actually clinch this title. Now, he was originally at one point in fourth place during all this time. Talladega really set him back. ISM. Getting that win was absolutely pivotal to get him in this championship lead. And then with him being so good at Homestead, like I said, coming into this race, we had every race that I've encountered on this game, he's either finished literally winning or somewhere in the top five. Well, white flags out. One more time around for Brad Moffitt. I mean, we, we honestly tried. We gave it all. We threw a custom setup on tried our damnedest in order to make it work i think well the white flag's already out so no even if caution comes out the race just ends it well third place isn't bad in, this, in the standings and with as far as it, i made it for the championship i'll take it brent moffett comes off four to the line congratulations nascar heat four champion brett moffett fifth win of the season out of 20 races, he's won a quarter of them. 
That is a player level. This is an AI doing this. And we come home P6 and third in the standings. Nice job. I tried, chat. I... How is that 101 speed rating? What? Oh, I never get it. I never get speed ratings. All right, whatever. Yeah, Matt Crafton, congrats to him. Fourth. He he, he feel, still finishes fourth in the standings, but yeah. Yo, uh, Odox, thank you so much for the subscription with Twitch Prime. Welcome to the sub club, my dude. Enjoy the emotes. All right, but yeah, we tried, we tried. Let's take a look at the standings here. Final standings. Congrats. 100% confirmed. Brett Moffitt with his fifth win of the season here. We have a new truck championship winner. <sighs> 615 points, five wins compared to Stuart Friesen. 606 points, two wins, and my one lone victory. But gosh dang, that one lone victory was awesome. <laughs> I just want watch Canadian Tire on YouTube, man. You have to see it. But yeah, we tried. We did our best. And that's all we can ask. Who came last, out of curiosity? Travis Quaffle. Nice. Brett Moffat with the fast lap. Makes sense. He was good. He was damn good all day. Most laps led to... Yeah, there was no beating him, this guy this season. He was too good. Too good. <sighs> Spencer Boyd, tough break. That's two in a row, honestly. Spencer Boyd, man. Yeah, tough break in uh, ISM and tough break in Homestead. Good talk. Good talk, good talk. Uh, so, I actually needed to see what kind of screen we get here. Right there, finish six. Nice rebound from ISM. We finished her in the standings. Uh, it happens. It happens. It just wasn't. It just wasn't our season. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna do some stat crunching. I want to see how exactly how the stats lie down because, like over here, we have like for example, looking at all here with Christian Eckes one. We finished second. Awesome. Fifth. Awesome. Brad Moffat, seventh. Right here, we ha this was when the glitch was in a place. In case you didn't know, chat, um, when the competition mode came out, there was a glitch that for championship modes, you would be stuck in it. You could not move it. So, like, my settings that I had in place, it was literally causing me to die here. That's why I finished 18th, so, or 17th, my bad. But here, fourth, second, third. 8th, 18th, okay, you know what, okay, that, that was on me, it's Iowa, it's 18th, 6th, 10th, 3rd, 2nd, 11th, just outside the top 10, 8th, basically, you're seeing a lot of 11ths um, and top 10s, there's our victory, and then here, top 10, top 10, but Brett Moffat has just, was just better than us, he was, he was the GOAT, I should say. But yeah, here's my settings, chat. Of course, usual stuff all around. Nothing changes um, for the most part. I mean, obviously there's some changes here and there. I'll let you know if there's changes. I'm completely upfront. This is to make it as hard for me as possible. And I mean, it does, this season shows. But chat, hopefully you enjoyed this race. Hopefully you enjoyed this season. I know we didn't bring home the title, but gosh dang it, man. That's funny. I got second pushing Ekis to the win at Daytona in my career mode. Hey, there you go, man. Two Bs make a pod, right? Funny how life works like that. But yeah, I know we didn't win the season, but hopefully you enjoyed the season regardless. It was a wild ride, I'll say that. We still have plenty more racing left to do, though. This was just the truck side of things. We, tomorrow, are going to the Xfinity. We are at Chicagoland, 200 laps. We are fourth in the season here, and boy howdy, is it looking to be another tight one. Look at, okay, if you thought 
that the trucks were be- were good wait until you see the xfinity side of things we have seven drivers within 50 points of each other and it is anyone's game 